prototypers. Today, we are gonna make our Circuit Playground Express, our CPX into a keyboard. So our laptops or desktops are gonna think that our CPX is a keyboard, but it's not, it's our CPX. So I'll demo this right now by playing Galaga. Okay, so if I go uh, A button, we'll go left, uh, B button, we'll go right, and then if I hit them both, it will, um, it will shoot. Now, I didn't say I would be good. But in today's lesson, we're going to show you this and more. So let's get started. We're going to build a series of programs using the CPX as a keyboard. But let's start simply. The first thing we're going to do is have the user press the A button on their CPX. And the CPX will send a string of characters. And we'll, we'll print that to the screen. So let's get started. We don't need a forever block in this case. So we're gonna, let me just make this a little bit bigger. We don't need a forever block. Instead, remember, we're gonna do input. So there's an event when the button A is pressed. But on button A, click. And now we are gonna go into advanced and extensions. And there's a, a number of different extensions. The one we're gonna use is keyboard. And when we add that in, you'll notice there's now this new keyboard block. So let's bring that over. And we're gonna use keyboard type, keyboard type. And we could put anything we want in here, but I'm gonna put, I love prototyping. Maybe we'll put a little heart like that. Um, and it's oftentimes useful to provide instant feedback when a key is pressed. So that way when we hit the a key we're at least giving the user some instant feedback that that was sensed by the cpx and then we'll send this keyboard type um okay so let's let's download that to our board okay i think maybe it downloaded directly so let's try it out so i'm just going to open up word And all right, now I'll hit the A key. There we go. And again, and again. Awesome. All right, so that's just the beginning. Um, now we can change it from sending a string to just sending a space bar, and we can already start to play games. So let's do that next. So rather than keyboard type, I love prototyping, we're gonna delete that and we're gonna put a space in there. And I like to verify that a space was actually placed in here by just going into the JavaScript. Don't have to do this, but it's a good kind of verification. And you see there is a space right there. So now we know that when the A button is clicked, a space will be sent over. Well, what should we do? Well, you can think of, is there anything we could do actually with just the space bar? Good question. Uh, yes, we could play things like Flappy Bird. So let's try that. Um, before we do, we have to obviously download it onto our CPX, this new program. And then I'm just going to test it up here in the editor and see if I hit the A key, will it make a space? Yes, it is. Okay, so we can go back to this Flappy Bird and uh, let me give you a different, different view of this. Perfect, okay. And um, so we're gonna try this. So the A button here is sending a space. So here we go. Doing pretty well so far and okay. Yes, already died. Let's try that again. I'm gonna move the mouse cursor. I'm never, I'm never gonna get through this. So anyways, that's, that's, a, that's the worst, that's the worst example ever. But I think we've done something, which is we made a simple controller. And I think there's something to be said for that, but we're going to make this more complicated so we can play other kinds of games, do other kinds of things. And really the sky is the limit. Once you could turn the CPX into like a keyboard, um, you could really send it anything you want. Um, so let's just extend the functionality a little bit and, uh, 
And let's go back to something like this. Okay, so let's extend the functionality by saying, rather than keyboard type spacebar, we're gonna go left arrow, right arrow. For that, we go in keyboard, and those are like special keys, keyboard function keys. So we're gonna do that. And you see there's a whole bunch of different ones. You scroll down and we've got left arrow. I'm just gonna copy and paste this block <clears throat> so that when you hit the B button, turns blue and then it presses the right arrow so now we're going to be able to have a basic little game controller with with left and right um, and then we're going to add back in the space bar actually so copying and pasting again i'm going to do button a b and we're not going to do that instead we're going to we're going to do type and that will type in a space. Whoops, not a V, a space. Uh, let's just verify that space is there. It is. Okay, so now button A goes left, button B right, and button AB sends that space. So now we can play more complicated games um, like Pong, for example. Actually, Pong is going to go up, down. Up and down. So let's do up arrow, down arrow, and we'll change this to green. Okay, so I'm just doing up arrow, down arrow because I'm going to play Pong, which I believe, if I remember, is up and down. We can test that. I'm just going to use a regular. Yeah, I'm using the regular keyboard. And indeed, it is up and down. So that is what we want. So, okay, up arrow, down arrow, keyboard type. Probably don't actually need spacebar in this case. If we played Galaga, we would, but it's fine. Um, we're going to download this to the CPX. And we wait. Let's see. Hit reset. Let's see if I can get it to download directly. Okay, again, I'm, I want to test it out. Um, I guess we just test it by playing Pong. Let's try it. Easy. Oh boy. Doesn't actually scale. Where is my... Oh no, you can't really see it. Let's see if I can make the screen smaller. Looking for my mouse. Where is my mouse? No, I can't really reset the size of this. Okay, that's okay. I will just make this full screen and I will have my head here and I will hold this up and you will believe me that I'm pressing it and we're going to play again. Okay. I'm moving. Oh, you can't see the paddle. Why not? Oh, I'm standing in the way. Ha ha. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'm pressing the buttons and the paddle is going up and down. But you might wonder, well, that looks really slow and tedious, and it's not moving very fast. Why is this? Because every time I hit the button, I'm only sending the arrow once. So it's one-to-one, -one. bump, bump, bump. If I hold it down, nothing, no additional command happens. Unlike with a key on a keyboard, if I hold down the up key, nice and smooth, it continues to send a key command. So how can we do this with the CPX? Well, we have to modify our code slightly and then we will come back to you, Free Pong. We will come back to you. So let's modify our program now. 
to, oops, I don't need to do that. Let's modify our program so that we're sort of sending a continuous signal if we hold down the A or B keyboard commands. So how could we do that? Well, and since we're not actually using the space bar for this game, let's just leave that. Okay, keep things clean. We're gonna, instead of using click, we're gonna use button down, and then we're gonna sense when the button goes up. And this is gonna give us more control. So now up arrow, we're also gonna press it down. And when the button A goes up, the up arrow should also go up. So we hold down the button, the signal will be sent. When we release, the up arrow will also release. So I'm gonna also modify this slightly. So now we have our colors and the lights correspond. If the button A is down, the lights will be red. And when we release it, the lights will be black. So let's do the same thing with button B. Not so bad. And let's just make sure I've got this correct. Can you see it all on the screen? Now, why am I modifying the lights as well? Because I want them to correspond to the state of the program. Button B down, down arrow down, button B up, down arrow up. Okay, this looks great. Let's send it over. I think it came on. Let's try it again. No, it did not. All right. One second. Let's drag and drop. Oh. Drag and drop it over to C play boot. Ah, look at that. Already. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you know what? You only need to see my side of the screen anyways, so let's do it this way. Then you can see the light. Whoa. Nine to four. I'm doing much better this time. Ah, and then I lost. But this function is now much more like the actual keyboard with the, with the, oh, you can't even see what I'm doing, but. And the next thing we're going to do is just use some basic gestures and have that send keyboard command. So let's do that next. <laughs> 